<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. May is Mental Health Awareness mm -hmm. Month, and according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, depression affects 16 million American mm. adults mm. each year, <coughs> and millions more suffer from anxiety and other mental health issues. With that in mind, our resident medical maven and family <coughs> physician, Dr. Jen Cottle, is here to discuss mental yeah. health sickness yeah. and offer some insight on how to best seek yes. and undergo the treatment. Dr. Jen, thank you so much for thank being you. back. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. Yes. Hello, hello. You yes. too, always. Yes. 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 Well, I think the first thing we need to do is to help, help people understand what mental illness is. Yes. So what is mental illness and how do we define it and how do you define what mental illness is it? Not. Oh, wow. Right. That's good. That's a great question. So That's mental illness question. is a very broad term to include conditions that affect our mood, mm -hmm. our thinking, and our behavior. Mm -hmm. It's not just one condition. It can range from things like feeling the blues or anxiety or depression or even things like schizophrenia and bipolar mm -hmm. but there's a whole bunch of conditions in there and uh, conditions that affect mood thinking behavior that's what it is yes. okay. yeah. 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 it can really vary important. it can vary it really yeah. really can I, I'm so glad we're talking about this because there's a lot of stigma in our community I'll mm -hmm. be honest with you as a family doctor I see this all the time mm -hmm. so it's important to know really what it is <clears throat> yeah you know what Dr. Carlo there's so much medicine out there mm -hmm. that um, is being pushed on us you know uh, take Ritalin take this take sure. that you know sure. to, to cure or mental illness, sure. but you know, can you talk to us about some of the yeah. holistic and more um, non-medical, well, non-prescription drugs sure. that can be taken to kind of help help uh, our mind exactly, and our, yes. you know, uh, therapy and holistic and, and diet change. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's start with therapy because Common and I'm so impressed and I was so happy to hear his amazing interview from front mm -hmm. to back. But mm -hmm. he mentioned going to therapy, yes. mm -hmm. and it's something we don't always talk about. Yeah. And I'm, I'm so grateful that he talked about it because I want people to have permission yes. to mm -hmm. go to therapy, which yes. is this idea of talking to a licensed professional that's able to help us yes. through what we're going through. So when we talk about non-medication options, that, by the way, is a big one. And I often, as a family doctor, say that I have not met one single person in my career in 10 years as a doctor that did not or could not have benefited from therapy at some mm -hmm. point mm -hmm. in their lives, whether yes. somebody died or they lost a job, what have you. But you know, this is the other thing. Medications are not necessarily bad. It's just making sure that we have the right thing and if we need a medication. What yeah. about the side effects though? Oh. You're right. So sometimes there can be side effects to medications, but you have to remember that some people are not really able to function well without medications. Yes. Yes. Right. You know, when yes. we think about something called postpartum depression, yes. um, some women, I don't know if anyone's had the baby blues or women out there who are listening, that is very, very real. Yes. I have seen yes. women that have literally been on the brink after they give mm -hmm. birth at such a special time in their life. And it's about taking care of ourselves and our loved ones. So I don't want anyone to think that medications is inherently bad. Mm -hmm. It's just the question of, is it right for you? Right. And you're right, there are potential side effects to everything, but we want to just find the right match. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So let's talk a little bit about if a person is feeling anxious or yes. depressed. Yes. What are some must-dos that they can do? You know, I'm so glad we're talking about this because, and first of all, I think the first thing mm -hmm. is not to feel shamed. Mm -hmm. I've had so yes. many women come into my office and they say, but Dr. Jen, I've been through hard times before. I've been able to get through things before. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I can't get through this now. I don't know why I'm crying so mm -hmm. much. I don't know why I'm up. I, why can't, I'm a strong woman, right. mm -hmm. is what we say. We, right. me, I'm, right. me too, because right. I have been there. And this is what I would say is the first thing is, this is not shame. It's not like, oh, you're bad because you feel anxious. This is a medical thing, just like blood pressure, just like diabetes, mm -hmm. yes. just like our weight. Right. Um, so that's the first thing I want mm -hmm. us to do is remove the stigma of there's something wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Mm -hmm. It's called life, and we all go through Hello, this. Yes. Yeah, so the please, message. like, seriously, uh, please don't be shamed. So yes. yes. So yeah, I'm glad you mentioned women, in yeah. particular, uh, us going to therapy. And yeah. I've been very transparent here. I just started therapy last week. And High five. Yeah, yes, yes, I, yes, think, yes. I think therapy, therapy is a blessing. Yes. I think mm -hmm. it's yes. a blessing. Yes, and but how do we encourage black women in particular yes. mm -hmm. to walk into that room, yes. get on that couch, mm -hmm. and just lay it all out? And lay it all out. Okay, well, so in addition to what I was just talking about where the shame thing, I'll tell you something else. Another one of my, she's a, black, she's a black female patient of mine, and she said to me, and she's been struggling with anxiety, depression for years. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, who's your support system? She said, well, I don't want to tell the people around me because they say, girl, just shake it off. Or girl, you're you going to be fine. Yeah. Girl, ain't nothing wrong with you. 
that kind of mentality mm -hmm. and that phrasing, mm -hmm. we have to stop that. Yes, because we sometimes we can't shake it because we're human just like yeah. everyone else. And I'm so grateful mm -hmm. for you and the common and everyone yeah, else yes. who's willing to spread their truth. Right. Therapy is just like, like uh, any other, you go to the doctor, mm -hmm. we can go to therapy doctor. So this idea of taking care of ourselves, not blaming ourselves or thinking there's something inherently wrong because at a point in our lives we may need a little assistance. Right. Yeah. Really quickly, yeah. and, and you know, we are in the Bible Belt. Um, yes. We pray every yes. single morning. Mm -hmm. Yes. But is there a point, and I don't yeah. want the, No, this know, is good. Yes. It is. We do have to talk about this. We've got to talk about this. Yes. Okay, let's talk yeah, about this sure. because people will say, I'm, I'm a God fearing woman. Yes. I, 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 Praise God. Okay. Amen. And so I am not going to say, and I have a lot of patients say, well, I've been praying on it, Dr. Jen. I'm going to pray mm -hmm. on it. And I say, you know what? And that's exactly what we should do. But this is my personal feeling. Right. I feel that God has also given us right. tools that's on that's earth, right. Hello. therapists, right. medications, et cetera, to help. So the way I think about it is I want a comprehensive approach. I want us going to church. I want us talking to our minister. But mm -hmm. I also want us going to a therapist yes. if needed. Yeah. I want us considering medications if it is needed. I want us to use the tools that, in my opinion, God has given us. Yeah. And church is not a contradiction to help for our mental right. state. Right. It's not That's a contradiction right. yes. to therapy. Okay? It, we're not we're not fighting each other. This is all together. Yeah. Yes. So Jen, how important is diet? Because yes. I know that um, yeah. poor diet can cause hormonal fluctuation yes, can. Yes. and can cause mood swings. Yep. How important is it for us to make to maintain a well-balanced well -balanced diet, diet for our mental health? <laughs> yeah, oh. and I'm so glad you, because you're always great with the diet questions, and it's such an important part of it our life. Is. Keeping our body balanced. If our body is not balanced, then our mind may not be, mm -hmm. and we know they're connected. Mm -hmm. And when we're not feeling good up here, sometimes we're not feeling good in here, mm -hmm. too. Yes. So I do believe the idea of keeping a balanced diet, a healthy diet, making sure that we're staying Staying fit, that we're exercising, that we're sleeping. Yes. Lord yes. Jesus, sleep. 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 Yes. Oh, yes. That will they make already. it. That will make you feel like you're out of your mind. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, oh, so. yes. <laughs> We can talk about this all we day. Could, we can keep going. Absolutely. <laughs> We're so grateful for the insight. Please make sure you follow Dr. Jen on social media and subscribe to her YouTube page. Check out our amazing show, Be Your Own Doctor. Mm. Yes, we love that.